After the completely dull and uninteresting escape from the Planet of the Apes, Conquest is a welcome course correction for the series. This movie is wild, man. It's not as wild as Beneath the Planet of the Apes, but it's different and interesting enough that I was mostly enjoying myself. And I say mostly because, to my surprise, this movie is at times pretty hard to watch. So without further ado, let's jump into Conquest of the Planet of the Apes, or what I like to call Caesar Unleashed. The plot summary from IMDb reads, Apes have been domesticated and turned into work slaves in the near future. Along comes Caesar, son of Cornelius and Zira, who leads his chimp brothers in rebellion against the human oppressors, thus creating the time loop that leads to the first film. So yeah, I thought this movie was pretty damn entertaining. It's a fascinating concept and at times pretty difficult to watch. I know this is a movie from the 70s and it could be cheesy at times, but watching apes being tortured for an hour and a half was pretty disturbing. Yes, I know they're just people in ape costumes, but some of these scenes are still pretty effective and unsettling. Watching animals being electrocuted or beaten is just an inherently sad thing to watch, and this movie is chock full of that. The best way I can describe it is this. You remember in Rise of the Planet of the Apes when Caesar has to be sent to a shelter and dickhead Malfoy starts torturing the animals? and it makes you feel upset and angry. Yeah, this is basically that, but a lot more of it. Luckily, it all has a purpose and isn't too egregious with the ape slavery plot, but it's still unnerving nonetheless. Now, obviously, this movie isn't hiding the fact that it's tackling slavery. It's all right there in front of you. However, I don't think this film has anything profound to say about slavery other than it's absolutely horrible. But maybe that's all you really need to say about it. And I'll say because of that, it does make it really easy for us to hate humans, and in particular, the main villain of the film. Which is important, and you need that, because eventually Caesar will revolt, and we need to feel that that anger, that, that reason for revolt. And when we get to the end, the climax with Caesar and his army of apes revolting against the humans, it's pretty thrilling and well done. And it's thrilling because of the little things. For instance, when the action set piece finally kicks off, the film score completely disappears. When the score disappears, it adds weight to the action that's unfolding, and it sucks you in. Now, the score does return at some point, but I'd say for a solid 5 to 10 minutes, it's complete silence, and you watch these apes take over this massive courtyard. It's a kick-ass climax, and quite possibly the best climax of the older films. Even Caesar's speech at the end is well done. He stands atop a flight of stairs, with the city on fire behind him, shouting about evil humans and how apes need to band together. It's an extremely powerful moment and easily one of the highlights of the franchise. But the highlight isn't just married to Caesar's speech. Throughout the film, we see that Caesar is interested in a fellow female ape. Now, keep in mind, Caesar is the only ape that can talk, so when he communicates with other apes, it's typically through glances and facial expressions. So this female ape is there in the climax during Caesar's speech, and at one moment, he almost gives an instruction to kill the main villain, but before he gives that command, the movie cuts to a close-up of this female ape. She looks up at Caesar and whispers, No. It's the first time we've seen another ape talk, and it's a powerful moment. And to add to that, I love how this franchise keeps the trend of the word no. To my memory, the word no is used in three of these movies, and they're all used in powerful ways. In Rise of the Planet of the Apes, the first word Caesar speaks is no, when he shouts it at Dickhead Malfoy. And now the word no pops up in this movie. It's a pretty cool trend that these movies have made. So my biggest problem with this movie is that I really like the plot points and they all make sense to me. However, the movie doesn't really take the time to nurture the moments that happen in between the plot points. This movie needed to be longer so that we can spend more time with these characters and allow the film to breathe. And I'll give you a couple examples. When Caesar finally decides to recruit apes for his revolution, it just kind of happens. There's really no build up to it. We see why Caesar is upset and wants to rebel, but there's no build-up to him recruiting apes. The movie is just like, look, Caesar is mad, and then boom, we're right in the middle of Caesar recruiting. Another example is right before the big climax happens. Caesar is being tortured, he escapes, then he walks into a room, says a couple of words, and then boom, cut to the courtyard with all the apes marching in unison. There's no build-up to any of this. The movie needs to be longer so that you can nurture the moments that lead to these big moments. For instance, like, where is the big rousing speech he gives to the apes before they march out into the streets? That doesn't happen, and that's a missed opportunity. And I think that at the end, like, things just sort of happen in this movie, and I just think that's a damn shame. I understand why these things are happening, the plot points make sense, it's just that these scenes need more time to breathe, but instead they come off as rushed. But luckily overall, I really enjoyed this movie. It's interesting, has fantastic performances, a thrilling climax, and a powerful ending. I don't think it's as good as the original Planet of the Apes or Beneath the Planet of the Apes, but it's 100% better than Escape. 
This is a darker, deeper, more disturbing take on this franchise, and I dug it quite a bit. I can't wait to see how this all ends with battle, and then sadly, my ape journey will come to an end. I'll see you on the final review of these movies with Battle for the Planet of the Apes.